So, you've been thinking a lot about record players lately. Maybe because your friend has one, or maybe you've seen them on the internet and they look pretty cool. And maybe you've been thinking about buying one, but you're still kinda on the fence about it. And you don't really know where to begin, or even if buying one is a good idea in the first place. Well, today I'm gonna tell you five reasons why having a record player is kick-ass. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to be talking about five reasons why having a record player is a good idea. Now, if you're looking for a quality record player, then be sure to check out the Audio-Technica LP120, the U-Turn Orbit, and the Project Debut Carbon. These are all fantastic record players that sound great, are built strong, and are going to last you years. So if you want to check them out for yourself, the links are down below. Okay, now let's get back to my top five reasons for having a record player in the first place. Number one, it's a whole new way to interact with your music. Because on one hand, you could just hit play on iTunes and then press shuffle and kind of listen to that music in the background while you study. Or you can choose to have a record player and be a lot more present in the music. And what do I mean by that? Well, there are a lot of micro decisions that go into playing a record. For example, first you need to decide which record you're gonna play, and then which side of that record record you're going to play, and finally, where you're going to drop the needle, aka which song you're going to play. So it's all these little choices that keep you focused on the music. So let's move on to the next reason. Number two, if you have the right equipment, records can sound way better than digital music. My setup, for example, includes the Audio-Technica LP120, a Yamaha RS201 receiver, a Pioneer SW8MK2 subwoofer, and finally the Mica MB42 bookshelf speakers. And this setup sounds absolutely fantastic to my ears. And for the last year and a half, this humble setup up has worked out great for me. And that's the cool thing about getting into records in the first place. You have tons of options that will allow you to fine tune the sound to be as amazing as your budget will allow. You can swap out and upgrade everything from the needle to the preamp, the amplifier, the speakers, the equalizer. I mean, you can just go nuts customizing your setup to achieve the best sound possible. But even if you don't want to spend that much money, you can still find quality gear that's going to sound amazing. And a good vinyl audio setup is kind of like the matrix. You can't be told how it is. You just have to experience it for yourself. So let's move on. Number three, crate digging. Crate digging has to be one of the most fun things about this hobby because there's something really magical about going to your local record shop and digging through the bins trying to find some great music. There's a ton of great stuff in those bins just waiting to be discovered. And a lot of those records just need to be cleaned and then they're gonna reveal all the awesome music trapped within their grooves. And by crate digging, you're gonna discover a lot of new artists that you might fall in love with. So crate digging is definitely something you're gonna really enjoy. Number four, artwork. The artwork is so much better on vinyl records than it is anywhere else. So if you're only used to digital artwork or photos on a screen that you get when you buy an album off of iTunes, for example, buying 12 inch vinyl records is gonna be a huge upgrade for you. The cover art on an album jacket is really beautiful. I mean, there are many people out there who've bought Michael Jackson's Thriller or Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon on vinyl, even though they don't have a record player to play them. And a lot of those people just wanted to frame that record and put it on their wall. That's how beautiful the artwork can be. Plus, there's all sorts of other things like colored records, splatter vinyl, liner notes, and tons of other beautiful artwork that you'll discover when you start collecting vinyl records. And finally, our last topic is number five, you're making memories. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you remember the first MP3 you ever downloaded? And what about the one after that? Probably not. And why is that? Well, being that in our modern society, nearly everything is cheap, easy, and convenient, oftentimes we value these things less and they become easily forgettable. But when you buy your first vinyl record, which is a physical object, you're gonna remember it forever. And it's gonna hold a special significance to you. And that's something an MP3 can never give you. Now, do you guys agree with my list? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, join the vinyl revolution and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with lots 
lot of great videos every week that you're not going to want to miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down below. And most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl. But you can't spin that vinyl unless you have a record player.